Well, we first told you about a controversial bill proposed in the West Virginia legislature. If passed, it would prohibit children from attending a drag show at public events. Well, now another bill has been introduced, but this one has harsher penalties for parents. Tonight, we hear from a drag artist, the senator who sponsors it, and the chance of it getting passed. You're probably wearing this one for a comedy number, um, help, or a dancing queen, probably. Get people in a high energy mood. Danny Styles has been a drag performer for 12 years and says recent attempts to keep the art of drag away from children is an attack on the LGBTQ community. What do you say to people who believe this is child abuse if they allow their children to see a drag artist? Let us stop watching Tyler Perry, stop watching Bugs Bunny, stop watching Mrs. Doubtfire, stop watching Tom Hanks. Drag's been part of our culture since the ancient Greek times. Here's the latest drag show bill in question, Senate Bill 253, sponsored by Republican Senator Mike Azinger. The bill states it's a criminal offense for a person to engage in an adult cabaret performance on public property or in a location where the adult cabaret performance could be viewed by a person who is a minor. Adult cabaret performance means a performance in a location other than an adult cabaret that features topless dancers, go-go dancers, strippers, male or female impersonators who provide entertainment that appeals to the purient interests or similar entertainers regardless of whether or not performed for consideration. The penalties, first offense is a misdemeanor, but second offense is considered a felony. A person convicted of that felony under this section shall be fined not more than $25,000 or confined in a state correctional facility for not more than five years or both. Senator Azinger wasn't available for an on-camera interview, but he did answer questions via text. He says, the intent of the bill is to protect children from being corrupted by men who dress as women. We asked the senator, would you be willing to see a parent go to jail for five years because they allowed their child to see a drag show at a local restaurant's drag brunch? The senator replied, the penalty phase is negotiable. Allowing children near drag queens should never be. They think that we're the scary drag queen hiding under the bed. Hollywood glamour tonight. There are different types of drag, and it's interesting to me that these people that are screaming all oh, drag such a bad things are the first ones to pop in a Medea movie and to say, oh, Tyler Perry's such a good person. He's a great man. He's a Christian man. However, he is technically a drag queen, but yet they're giving him a free pass. Now, again, Senate Bill 253 is just a proposal and still sitting in the Senate Judiciary. Senator Azinger tells me, quote, the session isn't over and there are other methods besides head on, end quote. Now, Tennessee just passed a similar bill days ago and we'll keep an eye on West Virginia's bill and let you know if it moves on to the next phase.